our top story, machine learning. Probably most of us have heard that term and know that it has some application in supply chain software, but, software, but what is it really all about and is it, is it really starting to add value to supply chain software applications? Well, uh, I'm very interested to know more about that. We've got a world-class expert uh, joining us today. That's Hank uh, Kanitz. He's uh, in the product uh, strategy at the Legility, of course, a major supply chain software company. He's on the road today joining us uh, from a conference uh, in Chicago uh, area, but we're very pleased to have him on the Supply Chain Television Channel. Hank, uh, thanks for coming back here again on this week's Supply Chain Video News. Well, thanks for having me, Dan. Okay, machine learning. I mean, the, the term itself sort of implies, you know, something that some other machines get smarter and, and uh, wind up making better decisions. But what can you tell us? What is machine learning really all about in supply chain? Well, really, machine learning is, is a type of artificial intelligence where computer programs can grow and change when they're exposed to new data. They get smarter as you add more data to the system. And, and what, what's really making that possible? It's all just programmatic? It's algorithms? It's all of the above? What, uh, what, what, what's really driving that? Yeah, you know, so, Dan, it's, it's the availability of data today, you know, big data, and, uh, and it's the uh, computer capabilities that we're uh, starting to get into more and more today, uh, algorithmic planning, uh, optimization, um, uh, things like that, where, uh, again, as you're able to add additional data, you can come up with better answers. The system actually learns and grows. Okay, very good. Well, what are some of the applications specifically in, in, in supply chain software? Yeah, you know, uh, there's a number of things uh, today that are available to, to companies. One of them is, is just simply a best fit forecasting algorithm. You know, best fit algorithms automatically switch uh, to the most appropriate forecasting method based on the latest demand information, the shipment information, uh, ensuring that you create the, the best forecast for every product at every stage of the life cycle. These uh, algorithms uh, evaluate forecast error uh, for, for each product and, and, and each forecasting cycle, and then recommend or automatically select the best forecasting method uh, that will produce the best forecast for you. So, you know, therefore, best fit forecasting is really kind of a basic form of uh, machine learning. Um, okay. You know, uh, another another area is is uh, for machine learning today. Uh, is found in software solutions that use algorithms, as I, as I, as I said, you know, to, to continually analyze the state of your supply chain and then recommend or automatically execute plans to meet customer requirements. Optimization driven by algorithmic planning is an early form of machine learning that relies on, you know, a set of information provided by you on your facilities and capacities and transportation lanes and service requirements to, to automatically make uh, optimal decisions. And an example of that would be uh, multi-echelon inventory optimiza optimization. Um, you know, it automatically adjusts your inventory positions uh, based on the information that's being fed into it. You know, and as you add additional forecasts, additional information, um, the multi-echelon inventory optimization solution may suggest new buffer locations or new quantities to be held at these locations. Another example is really kind of end-to-end -end supply chain optimization. And really only in the last uh, five years or so, the computer power has become uh, uh, strong enough, big enough, to be able to do an end-to-end -end supply chain optimization for, you know, a mid-size to a large type uh, 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 company. And, you know, so you're looking at here uh, supplier locations and customer demand and production cap uh, capabilities and trying to determine where best to produce a product. And, of course, as you add new demand to this and supplier availability and production capabilities, the, the optimization routine can come up with different answers. Uh, so just a couple of, you know, a couple of examples of things that are available today around machine learning that uh, uh, companies could get going with. Okay, so that, you know, we maybe have been doing more machine learning than I realized in the examples you just set there, many of which have been around for a while now, some of them newer. You know, where can this go? I mean, can, can, can machine learning take off in new directions? Yeah, you know, so, you know, like you said, Gartner uh, said that machine learning was uh, uh, right, right now at the, uh, the peak of inflated expectations. And I, and I have to agree with them. I, I think we're... We're, you know, five to ten years out from mainstream, five to ten years out from, 
you know, most companies doing something in this area. There's there's a lot of buzz out there, uh, you know, but uh, there's not a lot of companies actually uh, actually doing machine learning uh, using utilizing machine learning. I, I do believe that companies need to get going, though, um, and, I, and I think, you know, machine learning is a lot like uh, some of the other areas in, in supply chain where you have uh, levels of maturity. Uh, you see that in demand planning. You see that in sales and operations planning. And, and a company needs to move from, uh, like, a stage one maturity to a stage two and stage three and so on. They, they really just can't go from having no machine learning to having... Uh, advanced machine learning uh, capabilities uh, in one step. So um, companies should be looking at how, how to get going, how to, how to start uh, that, that learning uh, uh, curve, and by adopting some of the basic machine learning capabilities uh, that I mentioned. And, and that way you, you start to build experience with machine learning, you build expertise internally, and you obtain an understanding of uh, you know, types of processes where machine learning will work. And, and add value to your company. Okay, very good stuff. Well, sounds like we're further ahead than I realized, but still a long way to go, if that makes any sense. Hank, a great conversation. Yeah. Thanks, thanks so much for joining me today. Well, thank you, Dan. I appreciate it.